can make the dumb talk, what can make the lame walk, what's the elixir of life and philosopher's stone? And what helped Mr. Brunel to dig the Thames Tunnel? Sure wasn't it whiskey from Alden and Sean. My own name is Conor Ryan and welcome to the Malt Lane Whiskey Bar of the Folk House. We'll step inside, we'll have a little sip and a little chat about some beautiful Irish whiskies. Now that we've arrived at the bar, here's where the fun begins. With such an array of beautiful Irish whiskies available to the market, now you have to decide which ones you'd like to taste. It's important to use A, a proper glass, and B, know a nice routine in order to taste your whiskey. So we're going to take one of our favourites here, a Pierce Line 7 year old. Now, the three things you're looking for when you taste the whiskey is the nose, uh, the palate and the finish. So, what you do is you bring the glass up your nose, you breathe in through your nose and slightly with your mouth open and then you want to experience as much as you can from that nose. Uh, don't be in too much of a rush to um, swallow it, leave it in your mouth for a second whatever is comfortable and then once you've swallowed it, breathe in. Once you've swallowed down, breathe in and another array of beautiful flavours will release themselves into your mouth. But what you're doing is, on your mouth side of things, is you're looking for the continuity between what you smelt and what you're tasting, but also you're looking for sweet, sour, savoury and even spicy notes from your whiskey. Um, all whiskies are created different and it's just differentiating the different elements between them uh, mean a different experience every time you have a sip. Then, once you've uh, swallowed the whiskey, what you're looking for is the finish. So, is the, does this flavour stop dead on the back of your throat or does it go right down into your chest? If it goes right down into your chest, we'd say that's a whiskey with a long finish, if it stops short in the back of your throat, we'd say it's got a short finish. So there's three steps you're looking for when you taste a whiskey. Your nose, your palate, and the finish. Slauncher. A hundred and fifty years ago, Irish whiskey was the uh, biggest consumed brown spirit in the world. But 60% of all brown spirits uh, consumed were Irish whiskey. Then we went to almost near annihilation in the early 1900s where Irish whiskey business was nearly completely decimated and wiped out to now a fantastic position where Irish whiskey is now the fastest spirit growing category in the world. We're currently at about 8% um, consumption globally and it's great to see that at the moment Irish whiskey is in high demand and we're exporting all over the world currently. From this small little place here we've got some Beautiful offerings. Be back to uh, world dominance on the whiskey scene soon. What is Irish whiskey? Irish whiskey, in essence, is a spirit distilled in Ireland, aged in Ireland, in a wooden vessel for no less than three years. After that, it needs to be released at no less than 40% ABV. Who invented whiskey? So, it's a hotly debated uh, question amongst the Irish and Scotch but it was in fact Ireland who invented whiskey. The first mention of uh, whiskey in Ireland was in 1405 in the annals of Clon Mac Noyce. It wasn't until 1495 that the word whiskey was uh, mentioned in Scotland. Is it true all Irish whiskey is triple distilled? Uh, that's a popular misnomer. Um, Irish whiskey for the most part is triple distilled, but it, there's no regulation to say it has to be. It's down to individual distilleries to decide whether they double or triple distill with their own spirit. Depends on what flavour profiles are looking for the end result. Scottish whiskey is spelt with a Y and Irish whiskey is spelt with an EY. Is that always the case? So in Scotland it is the case that it's always spelt with a Y, but in Ireland we have adopted the spelling EY uh, more widespread. But we're allowed to spell uh, whiskey with both Y and EY at the end of it. And it's up to the individual distillery to decide which way to spell their whiskey. Thank you for stopping by to have a chat and a little look around the whiskey bar. Slow trip.
against it. The crater, the best thing in nature for sinking your sorrows and raising your joys. Oh, Lord, I'd not wonder if lightning and thunder was made from the thunder of whiskey, me boy. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.